All right, what's up, everyone? So this is going to be a Dragon Ball Daima Episode 2 breakdown. Um, the episode's titled Glorio. If you guys haven't seen the episode, go ahead and watch it on Crunchyroll. Um, episode 2 is the newest episode. If you guys haven't seen it but you do want to hear the spoilers, the least you can do is leave me a like, subscribe if you're new. And let's get right into it. So I do have you know notes here, and I do have things I want to discuss so this episode takes place, if you watch the last breakdown, um, immediately after the last episode, where all of the Z fighters, and that's Piccolo, Goku, Vegeta, um, Hercule, Bulma, um, I think that's all we see is pretty much everyone that fought, um, oh, and obviously the Supreme Kai and Kabuto, they all turn into kids, right? And then you have Trunks and Goten who turn to babies, but... Uh, what seems to have happened, they didn't lose their memories, they turned to kids, and they retained their, all their knowledge, right? So the episode starts off, they all find out they're all small, and that's pretty much the beginning. Then you get hit with the intro, and this episode pretty much just goes back to the, uh, what's it called? The Not the hyperbolic time chamber, the lookout. I couldn't think of the word. You go back to the lookout, you end up seeing, you know, Goma um the old namekian who um actually summoned the dragon balls and it's kind of funny i forgot about this shenron um kind of pulled a fast one so they make one wish to turn all the z fighters into you know kids and he's gonna make his second wish and shenron's like all right farewell and they're like wait i thought we had three wishes and shenron's like that's only for uh regular customers so that's only for the regulars you guys that are one-offs or guests, you only get one, and then he flies away. So Shenron literally just because was like, I ain't giving you three wishes, I'm only giving you one. So that was really funny um, that Shenron did that. I wanted to make sure I brought that up. And then, yeah, the first, like, ten minutes of the episode, everyone's just confused, right? They're like, what's going on? Um, they're like, what's going on? Why are we kids? What's going on? Stuff like that. And they end up just asking around. The Supreme Kai said he felt a presence at the, the lookout. So they end up going to the lookout, talking to Mr. Popo. And they're like, oh, they took Dende. They made a wish to make you guys kids. And that's pretty much the first, like, 15 minutes of the episode. Um, they then, Supreme Kai, they have some exposition. They're like, oh, Supreme Kai, it's actually your brother that was with that uh, Goma dude. He's the one that um made the wish. Goku's like, you have a brother. We didn't know that. Yada, yada, yada. And the Supreme Kai's like, we got to get to the, the demon realm. Or they all come to that consensus. And they're like, we can't just teleport there. We have to use a spaceship. So Supreme Kai, he asks uh, Kibito, go back to the land of the Kais. They bring back a spaceship that Kab that Supreme Kai ended up using to come to Earth um, you know, many, many years ago. And, of course, it's broken, and they're like, all right, we need someone to fix this. Bulma can fix it. They end up grabbing Bulma, and that's pretty much the first half of the episode. They they find out someone made a wish. We're kids. This guy's Goma. Supreme Kai as a, as a brother, and that's the first half of the episode, right? Second half, they're all still confused, right? Um, because they're all kids, they all can't fly properly. They don't know... Um, the balance needed and required for their new kid bodies, right? So Goku tries to fly, and Piccolo's like, oh, you got to learn how to fly with the new body. And Goku's like, it's like, how do you know? Like, how about you try it? And Piccolo's like, okay. Piccolo ends up flying, and Piccolo ends up uh, doing the same thing. He tries to fly. He loses his balance, hits his head and on a tree. And then Piccolo ends up getting a nosebleed. It's kind of, it's a funny gag. I, I really do. I have chuckled a few times, even watching the sub. Um, this show is, it really is bringing back like that, that humor that we had back in Dragon Ball. If you guys watch Dragon Ball, as you should, um, it just feels funny. It's, it's funnier than Super. Super didn't, it wasn't super funny. Um, but in the first two episodes, this series has made me chuckle a few times, right? So then, um, what happens? Goku's like, you know what? Um, he tries doing some sparring. He tries fighting like up against a wall, and he realizes like his reach, his perception, his depth perception's off. He's like, oh, I have an idea. And Goku runs and retrieves his power pole, um, which is something he used in Dragon Ball. 
and it was a really cool, you know, throwback and callback to Dragon Ball. He brings it back and he shows everyone. Everyone's like, whoa, that's cool. And Bulma recognizes it. And she's like, oh, my God, I remember that. And they're all having dinner at the lookout. Bulma's working on the ship. And then another demon. I forgot the dude's name. I think it's Glorio. Yeah, this is Glorio. Glorio ends up showing up on the on the lookout. And they're like, well, yo, who are you? He's like, I'm Glorio. I was sent here by the Demon King or the higher ups to get you, Goku, to stop this guy that's trying to become the ruler of the demon realm. So he ends up telling Goku and all the others that because Deborah died during the Majin Buu saga, this guy now is the new Demon King. And he tells them, you know, come with me. We're going to go stop him. And he has a spaceship. Or he calls it a plane, and Bulma's like, that's actually a spaceship, because it flies in space. He said, it so happened to fly in space this one time, and it's kind of like a little laugh, like, it's a spaceship, but they call it a plane, whatever. Um, So, Glorio, Goku, and Supreme Kai hop in the ship, they're about to leave, and go to the Demon Realm, and Vegeta's like, I'm coming too. And Glorio's like, it's only a three-seater. And Vegeta's like, but we're kids. You know, we can easily squeeze in. You can squeeze one more person in there. He's like, nope, sorry. You can come with Balma when she fixes the other ship. And then the final clip is them in the spaceship. And there's very clearly enough room for a fourth person. Like, Vegeta very clearly could fit in that ship. I'm rewatching this scene right now. And you literally have enough room in that ship to fit a third person. So, and overall... Uh, it was a pretty good episode. I like it more than episode t- uh, one. Um, episode one did a lot of you know callbacks, recap of the original Dragon Ball series. Um, but overall, this series is going very well. I didn't expect myself to enjoy it, but I end up I find myself looking forward to these episodes every single week, and I love it. I love having a weekly Dragon Ball show, even though it's not a continuation of Super. I'm really enjoying it. So. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this breakdown. Um, I like to keep these uncut. Just I kind of just talk about the episode, break it down off memory. Um, so, yeah, if you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys do like and subscribe. And, yeah, I will catch you guys next week for episode three.